Welcome to WRC TV. I'm joined today by Roger Wade. Um, Roger, firstly, if you'd like to introduce yourself and box Park. I'm Roger Wade. I'm the CEO of Box Park. Box Park is the world's first pop-up mall. Excellent. What have you learned from the first day then of the World Retail Congress? Not a lot. <laughs> no, only joking. Um, I think um, it was really refreshing to hear the talk from the head of design from Arcadia because I think we're all getting a little bit too carried away with this sort of multi-channel world mm -hmm. and believing that it's going to be the saviour of retail. Yeah. But first and foremost, we've got to remember that people love shopping and we've got to create a, a wonderful shopping environment. Yeah. And, and, and the online world just provides us an opportunity to enhance the customer experience as opposed to replace the customer experience so you know it was it was about going back to basics okay I mean where do you see the greatest opportunities lying at the moment for retail uh, the, the reality is the greatest opportunity for retail at the moment is embracing the online world mm -hmm. not getting too carried away with it but embracing yeah. it and and by that there is massive opportunities for retailers mm -hmm. to perform fantastic fantastically uh, against traditional online e-commerce sites. And examples of that are like John Lewis. Yeah. I mean, I was blown away when I heard from John Lewis that a multi-channel customer spends 350% more than an average customer. Mm -hmm. And I think people really trust the John Lewis brand sure. because they're a bricks and mortar retailer. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a real uh, it's a fantastic advocate for anyone that's running physical retail to say you can go do it because I, people, I think I believe that customers want to buy from stores that they know the names of as opposed to just searching online and it's any Tom, Dick and Harry that would sell, sell them any product at any price. Sure and I suppose conversely where do you see the greatest obstacles in retail at the moment? The, the, the greatest obstacle is to just have your, your head stuck in the, the sand mm -hmm. and to believe that you know this online world isn't happening mm -hmm. you know the reality it is happening sure. you know it's been happening for 10 years pull your head out the sand yeah. and embrace it and don't be scared by it realize the competitive advantages that you've got I just had a really interesting chat with uh, an American chap that was a head of a grocery store stores in the States and somebody else that was head of one of the major office chains in the States and both of them were just saying that look you know we really believe that we've got the name that can deliver a multi-channel environment so the reality is it's, it's not so great for the people online that some people that are on online are definitely looking to come offline as well you know and they're looking at models like Apple and realizing that the greatest customer experience is a blend of both sure okay and I mean I suppose with the the eurozone crisis and, and obviously the acceleration of multi-channel but you mentioned how that embrace that should embrace the stores as well how do you think the economic crisis has affected the retail industry and how do you see the future uh, for it going forward <laughs> it, 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 it's, a, it's a tough future, but I think what everyone's got to put in perspective is when you start talking about recession, you're talking about you know one or two percentage points dip in the economy, and and you know I, I I've been unfortunate to start both my businesses, Box Fresh and Box Park, in the two biggest recessions that Britain have seen. But what it's shown me is that I've got to work harder at my proposition. You know, you you can't. Um, underestimate the effect that the whole Eurozone zone crisis will have on your business. But you know what? It's out of your control. It really is. And all you've got to do every day is turn up to work, do the best possible job that you can do, and don't worry about things that you can't really affect. Mm -hmm. So that's all I really try to do. Just, you know, I mean, I'd rather be in control of my own destiny than relying on some minister in Brussels deciding what I was going to do. You know, sure. I'll take care of it myself. Great. Excellent. Well, thanks very much. You're welcome.